Right. Floor is open. Get room here. Go ahead. Okay, Rob. 13 a perfect five to five to the line. This is your first trip to Philly. You referred that last year, obviously. So how does it feel to come back to Philly for the chance to win the one million dollars this year? It was great. It really does. TBT is a phenomenal summer basketball event. Um, I really appreciate them for giving us the opportunity to compete on our, our home floor in Houston for four games and host a regional quarterfinals. Uh, you know, really appreciate those guys. Uh, I had a great time last summer. We heard that great group of guys, great energy. We made the final four. We had a good run. But when we got here, we changed a little bit. You know, we, we didn't have that same approach and that same energy that we won the four games in West Virginia with. So I was just trying to really focus on telling the guys, you know, don't worry about the uncontrollable. Let's just focus on what we do, what we've been doing. Be poised, be calm. Uh, let's just try to give ourselves a chance to win. So I'm not uh, geeked, to say the least. Can you take us through that leg, the one you shot? Did it know that you're one minute away? <clears throat> well, um, Clemens didn't want to let him go away in Brown, uh, I think, but. Brown, yeah, Brown and Clemens, they didn't want to let him go away late. You know, we kept getting that bucket to go up three or four, and then they hit a three or hit a, a tough basket and one. So uh, the way Elon Menden works, is it can get a little tricky. So I knew we was two points away right there. Better off we score right there and, and, and uh, get to celebrating a little bit, opposed to going back down, leaving it up for them to shoot a three or get a foul call or – but who knows what, you know, so uh, we were looking for Fabian in the post. They would kind of sag. So, I mean, that's pretty much what it came down to. Just scanning the floor, seeing where I need to get to, and just trying to get off a good shot that I'm confident. Coach, I know it was late in that game. I got nervous. You guys had a 13 point lead. You were up pretty much the entire second half. You got shaved in two right before Elam. And that Clemens Roberts lob to make it 71 72. How nervous did you feel on the bench in that wobble? Well, these guys are battle tested. There's been a lot of close games, but they won this year, uh, this summer. So uh, we wasn't worried. Uh, they do a great job keeping their composure, being positive. No one was being negative. They were like, I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to play through it. So these guys, man, they. They didn't think about that at all. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't think he was gonna catch it. It was so far outside. I was like, oh, you know, he's gonna hit, hit the rim short with the ball. Like, just for him to catch it in some way, get it there was impressive. But man, uh, uh, tip the hat. That was crazy lob, way outside the backboard off two feet. Yes. Man, I, I, I was, I was, I was like, nervous that. when it happened. Once I looked at the scoreboard, we still up. I was, like, yeah. It was a, it's a dunk. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That was, that was crazy. Oh, it was so crazy. Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> bad timing. <laughs> Coach, a lot of TBT teams, you got reinforced at the right time. Can you talk about what an ad could be what he's been the squad the last couple days? Says it again. A lot of TV teams did an ad late. Obviously, you had a great oh. ad to your left. Can you talk about what an ad he's been? Yeah, Fabian White, I mean, I've been doing him since sophomore year of high school and working with him. So we already knew, like, when you start feeling him, we're going to feed the high end. His group do a good job. No matter who it is, like they're very unselfish and they're going to keep being the high end over and over and over again. And Rob made a big time, big time shot. So, Fave in the low post, that's our other best offense. You know, for sure. Fave is a problem. Yes. You know this. We are aware. You know, uh, we are more aware than some other people may be, but uh, uh, he's, he's uh, taking steps forward in Europe. And uh, he's going to be uh, an issue moving forward, I do believe. So uh, we're, we're super glad to have him back for the Elite Eight moving forward. DeJean Giroux, we would like to have him too. But, hey, we, we understand. Wish him the best. Uh, big time reinforcement with Fave, though. You know, I was super excited when Summer League came to him. And, and we handled business because I knew adding Fabian in TBT is, is a big deal. Fabian, they went on a game on there for a point of view of that day. We came out at timeout, of course, straight away. What allows you to still keep an attack mindset? So, my teammates, Rob, always give me positive reinforcement. Everybody on the team really did. Justin, everybody, they always keep telling me to be aggressive. Even because I get in my own head a lot, this play, and I'll be like, man, I'm off to this game. But they just keep me going, you know, keep my confidence high, and I just I trust my work, really. Uh, your preference? Would you rather be a tough team or Iowa State? No preference. No, no preference. Bad question. No, I <laughs> but you put us on the spot. We don't got no preference. We're ready to compete with whoever's there. Okay. That's us. Awesome.
Talking about the DA2, I told Soldier on the Memphis stance. You had to torture my fan base for years, Dave Houston guys. Mm -hmm. And that's a Houston style game. You guys are plus four on the board. Uh, you guys had a lot of offensive rebounds, 12 rebounds, but you're still four of 18 from three. What allows you guys as a mindset to overcome? Some questionable shooting, which is an absolute well, tenacious mindset. Coach Sampson would say that's not a U of H style game because it was only plus four. Fair plus enough, four is not good enough. We let them get a lot of offensive rebounds, which kept them alive to be able to get those and ones. But um, uh, U of H, yeah, go ahead. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, I think Coach, Coach Sampson drills it in our head every every day. If you don't rebound, we're going to run. No practice facts. So it's it's already in our head. I've been there for five years, you know. So that's five years. Either you go rebound or you go run. All uh, right, he didn't say what I was going to yeah, say, yeah. but I thought he was going to say this: If we make shots, we're going to blow people out. If we don't make shots, we're going to be tough and we're going to play a hard nosed game that gives us a chance to get by. It's plus one, plus two, plus three. So that's also been ingrained in us. Or you're going to run. It's just it's just in you know our DNA at this point. Uh, it's funny to us. It really is because it's just second nature and it's just something you have to go through to understand. And it's kind of like, you know, Coach Sampson gives off waves of adversity via practice. And we've all went through those same trials and tribulations, so to say, so we can really relate to it, you know, and obviously it's tough love. And we know that it's for our, our uh, to be our best version of ourselves in the end. So uh, it's all love and it's just a bunch of grown men holding each other accountable to be the best version of ourselves. So final question. I had a question for Fabian. I was going to ask, you were the all-time winning player in Houston history. I believe you also have most games played. What does it mean for you to be a part of something like this and having so much success on the Houston alumni team? Uh, it just means a lot. You know, I never thought I would play Rob again or Justin again or even play for the Center again. So it's just such a real moment to play with my guys again. Uh, but, um, it was uh, it's just fun because he, he, he's a killer. He, he's a killer. So I, I, I always have fun, you know, one of my same team with Rob and just always going to play hard, play harder than the other team just by himself. So it's always fun having them type guys on my team and, you know, just exactly. being able to Devante, get yeah. everybody. It's tough. Yeah, yeah tough everybody. athletes, selfless. Yeah. We really family. Yeah, we really family. So it's, we all know what the heck, what I know what he's good at, you know what I'm good at, we stick with that. Yeah. And if he does some stuff that's not so smart, I'm gonna let him yeah, know. He, and I expect he, him to let me know. Yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah, he cut me off. So you know, yeah, so that's what you do. No, just how it is. No, no, yeah. You know, Coach Sampson, what's your one trend to ET is that first-year alumni teams have a sense of time, tough time getting deep. You guys shattered that. You're 5-0, you're trying to win the whole thing. What has allowed you guys to make, to break that trend of first-year TBT teams so alumni's having more? Well, I, Sean Drake played in TBT, and he had some personal success. Uh, I played in TBT and made a lead eight and made final, final four. And, uh, again, we all are aware of TBT. We know the uh, significance of, of what's going on. And um, again, I think our university, I mean, again, a lot of people are probably biased to their university and their team and all that. But uh, there's just a certain way we practice and do things. And it's just kind of, again, funny, comical, and but an honor to be able to show it here, you know, that Coach Sanchez hasn't coached us in a, lot, a long time. So I know he's watching it and like, he feel, he sleep good at night looking at that, like, man, those dudes are still, you know, diving around and stuff. And I, I haven't yelled at him or coached him in a long time. So. Uh, we appreciate his effect on us, and I'm pretty sure he appreciates the stuff that he's, uh, you know, influenced us to, to be good at. Great. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Let's thank you all.